Hi guys and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Never thought those words would be coming out of my mouth in a million years. If you know me you're probably thinking, Zoe, what on earth are you doing? This is not for you. However, I'd say over the last two to three years now, confidence is something that for some reason I have really, really struggled with. The thought of a camera being in front of me or the thought of having to give a speech to five plus people honestly sends me sick but i just thought this would be something that would potentially really help me but yeah hopefully this is the start of something new and something that will just hopefully improve me as a person as well and just improve my confidence that is the main thing i'm looking for here also for those of you that are thinking about starting a youtube channel hopefully this sort of gives you the push as well and sort of not worry about what people think about you. I think that was something I was worried about for quite a few years. I was like, oh, I'm not starting a YouTube channel. Everyone's going to be talking about me. Yeah, for my first video, I just thought I would bring you along with me and Danny, my boyfriend, to Paris. I feel like everyone's going to Paris at the minute. We booked this ages and ages ago, but now it just looks like I'm jumping on the train going to Paris. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a nice quick intro to this vlog. I also feel like I'm kind of lucky enough to have been given a platform, in a way, sort of handed to me on a plate. Like, I've got a few Instagram followers. So I feel like... I've been lucky enough to be given this platform, why not try and utilise it in a good way? I'm currently at my mum's right now. We fly from Luton tomorrow morning at 6am. Our flight's at 6am. For some reason in my head I thought, oh, we'll have to be at the airport for 6am, but no, the flight's at 6am. So we're probably going to have to be at the airport for about 4am, which means waking up at about half two. Luton airport's only like half an hour away from us. So yeah, the next time I see you will be... Potentially tomorrow morning if I'm in a fist enough state to vlog. Good morning everybody. It is currently 10 to 5 in the morning. My eyes are burning. Are your eyes burning? Sizzling. Eyes are sizzling from how tired we are. No, to be fair, we were quite good. We went to sleep at about half nine, so I'd say we've got a good four or five hours. I'm currently sat in Frankie and Benny's, just ordered some breakfast, although it does feel a bit obscene to be eating before 5 a.m. So guys, we've arrived in Paris, a couple of difficulties on the way, obviously we were meant to get the metro, um, but the metro line we wanted to get was closed and there was an alternative bus route, which we just really couldn't be asked to do, like the trains here are complicated enough, let alone getting buses which would have just taken longer, so maybe forked out a little bit of money and got an Uber, so we're just going to have a mooch around, try and find some food. It's a bank holiday Monday though, which we completely forgot, and literally everywhere seems to be closed, like we've not walked past anywhere yet that's open. Also, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does this, but before you go away somewhere, do you um, like really research the place where you're going and always find out the best things to do? Because we did that, and literally the top 10 things to do in Paris were, number one, have a coffee. Number two, have a croissant. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram reels, top 10 things to do in Paris. Go for a lovely cafe trip, have coffee. All they want you to do is just have coffees all the time. I Drink mean, brews, eat croissants. Oh look, here we go. Oh look, lovely. Nice fruit. What's a fruit? Really want some French onion soup as well. Apparently French onion soup is going to be amazing. I'm absolutely dying for some escargot. What's escargot? Snails. Oh, snails, no thanks. So we've just stumbled across a very, very cute little cafe and it's open, which is a bonus. <laughs> and we have a lovely basket of lots of pastry. Stunning. Oh, I think as far as croissants go, I'd give this a solid eight. Taste, not bad. Mess. He's upset about the mess. Yeah. And just like that, honestly, I forgot how beautiful it was. I came to Paris when I was about 10, and then again when I was about 16. But I don't remember it being this lovely. It's massive. So we are at the famous road, um, oh, something universitaire or something, I can't remember what it's called actually. And I am absolutely living for everyone trying to get their Instagram picture. Honestly, it's made me so happy seeing everyone trying to do this. Some lovely girl just came up to me as well and was like, oh, I've got a screenshot of Molly's picture and I'm trying to copy her. Um, but so she's still going, she's still trying to get the shot. We've just got a couple of silly pictures, but honestly, Look at everyone, everyone is really working their stuff up. What's the road called, Danny? Rue l'Université. Right I was close, wasn't I? I said something university. So we've just been and had some French onion soup. We're on the Champs-Élysées. We've now popped next door because the famous 
is it macaron or macaroon? Macaron. Macaron. The famous mac macaron shop is next door. And I don't really like macarons, but I don't feel like we can literally walk past it and not go in and get some. So I'm going to get some. And let you know what I think of them. I don't think I like them. exaggerating but if there was a moment that I could just relive over and over and over I feel like it would probably be this one it's about 21 degrees we're sat with the most gorgeous view of the Eiffel Tower the only flavor we asked for was pistachio that's the one that Danny wanted and I said um, just surprise us with the rest so this is what we've got here which one's pistachio the green one yeah. oh lovely do you want some of this one um, yeah you have a bite of that To be fair, they do look quite good. What? What? I thought they were hard. No. Spice their macarons are meant to be hard. Yeah, when you buy them from Lidl. That is like a cake. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, can I have the rest of this one? No, 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 no. No, no please. No. <laughs> I honestly feel like we've done a whole day's worth of activities already. I'll give you a little room tour. Someone's making use of the balcony already. This is our little room, do the job, not overly big, but I am more than content. Nice size bathroom, massive shower. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Honestly, I've had such a nice day. Good evening, everybody. It is our first evening in Paris, what's the time? Quarter past seven, we've got dinner booked for nine. We've just come to a lovely little, um, Cafe or bar, all the sort of cafes that are cafes in the day and do coffees and croissants to turn into bars in the evening. So we've come to this cafe bar, watching the hustle and bustle, watching people go by. Got my Athos spritz. He's got his IPA, and we've got some olives, of course. Good morning, everybody. How are we? It is 10 to 10. Very noisy in here. We're just in the process of making a plan today. Uh, we don't want to go up the Eiffel Tower, but Danny's having a look online. And I feel like you have to pre-book, um, unless there's a bit, unless there's a bit where you can just walk. Um, surely you don't have to pre-book. I think it might be like the um, London Eye, but you can sort of just buy tickets there and then. Another thing we want to do today, well, I want to do, and I'm making you do it with me, is buy one of those locks and lock it somewhere because there used to be a lock club bridge um, but apparently the weight of all the locks was getting too heavy so they had to take all the locks off and replace it with like a glass um, glass railings on the bridge so if you've been to Paris before and you put a lock on the lock club bridge I hate to tell you but it won't be there anymore <laughs> so we're going to find somewhere else just to put one so just got to the Eiffel Tower and the queue Oh, actually, no, it's not horrendous, but this is to go up it. We're a bit confused at the minute as to where we would queue, if these people have already paid or pre-booked. This is people with tickets, guests with tickets. Let's see if we can find somewhere where we can go and just buy a ticket. Oh my God, no, look at the queue down there. This must be the guest ticket queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one on the far side it's must be where yeah. people want to go. Oh no, Danny, I'm not doing that. Oh my god. I'm not getting in that. I'm not getting in that. <gasps> oh my god. I don't know what I was expecting, but. <laughs> it wasn't this. <laughs> what the hell? It does seem to be moving quite quick. So we've reached the end of the queue. I don't somehow think that we're going to do it. Ridiculous. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. I think what we're going to do is... Come back for a day. Come back for a day. With the ticket booked when the weather... I don't know, maybe towards the end of the year when it's a bit colder. Yeah. Or the queue for the, the, queue for the people with tickets looks quite short. So They're like fast track tickets, aren't they? Not all these people have tickets. No way. Surely not. Go and ask someone in your best French. Bonjour. 
Do you have ticket already? Billet. <laughs> Off we go then. Yeah. Find something else to do. We wanted to find something really special to do um, for dinner this evening. So when we booked to come here, a couple of weeks after, I was looking online at like boat cruises and river cruises and stuff. Um, and I came across this dinner cruise um, where you go on for like three hours, you get entertainment, you get all your food, all your drink. And this is where I think we'll be coming this evening. So that was never the plan to do this, but Danny was like, I really want to wear a tux for something. I really want to buy a tux and wear a tux. I was like, all right, buy this tux and I'll find somewhere nice that we can go and you can wear the tux. I was looking for so, so long to find nice restaurants where you could wear a tux. And this was sort of the only thing we stumbled across, so. Well, we stumbled across other stuff, but you need to remortgage or you know, <laughs> get a, a massive loan to be able to afford a dinner there, so. So we've just come across the Louvre. Again, similar situation to the Eiffel Tower. Unsure if you have to pay to go in, I'm assuming you do. And also unsure if you have to buy tickets online. Art's not really our thing, so I'm not overly bothered about going inside. It just doesn't look like there's a long queue and we're happy with that. Cancel that. Um, one day of the week the Louvre is closed is today on a Tuesday. How bizarre! How bizarre! So we're just gonna have to admire it from the outside, I think. So we've just come and sat down at Notre Dame Cathedral. Absolute stunning. So so lovely here. Look at these coffees, by the way. Size of these Pints iced of coffees. Pints of coffees. <laughs> <laughs> for an iced coffee. It tastes exactly like an espresso martini. It's gorgeous, but it's like a huge size of my head. I say your head's huge. It is big. <laughs> <laughs> I have never enjoyed my life so much. I'm watching right now, watching Danny trying to work out how to use a tripod. <laughs> Honestly, just wanted a cute little picture. There we go. I'm going to take 10 minutes to set it up. <laughs> right, come on then. Right. Good evening, everybody. That is us back at the hotel room now. It is nearly half past six. Our boat doesn't depart until half eight. I've actually got some Beauty Works clipping extensions in tonight. Every time I've tried to put them in myself the past two, three years, I just give up because I can't do it. But bless Danny's heart, honestly, he kills me. He learned how to put my extensions in and he actually, every time, he's done a really, really good job. I'll quickly show you now what I'm wearing. I'm having to crouch down here because I can't get the camera at the correct angle, but my hair, lovely and long, lovely and clipped in. Great job for Danny. My dress is from Club L, they very kindly sent it to me. Super dressy and super sparkly, but if you can't be sparkly and dressy in Paris, where can you be? I'm obsessed with it, it's so nice. And then I've just got on some Perspex heels. I always wear these, they're so, so comfy. And then a little black bag, and then I've just got my leather jacket in case it gets cold this evening. But yeah, that is me tonight. Look who has just walked out to me. Oh yeah. Oh wow, give me a 12. I do know 12s, but I'll show you. <laughs> Look at you, and you've caught the sun today on your face. Red raw that side, <laughs> slightly white that side. Oh, what do you think though, no jacket? I think no jacket, carry it. I feel so bad, I am really vlogging him against his will. Like, if he had it his way, this would not be happening at all. You're doing well, aren't like you? Like a, a <laughs> he thinks he's always so awkward, but he's not. Yeah. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Love you, darling. I love you. So that is us heading out for this evening. I'm going to bring the camera with me. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog. Um, we just need to bring the tripod so we can set it up for when I um, get down on one knee and propose. Don't know if it's in your bag. <laughs> Why do you keep joking about this? Unless he's double bluffing and I actually do come back Who with knows? a ring on my finger. Who knows? Who knows? Guys, honestly, this is stunning. <laughs> I am so happy we've done this. So that's the Notre Dame. Hey. Give me a kiss, baby. Come on. the mansion lift, the barfoot king composing hallelujah. Hallelujah. still morning 20 past 11 yes yeah, still morning we're just about to check out of our hotel we're gonna dump our suitcase because our flight's not until about 10 o'clock this evening <laughs> look at this little cozy area i'm gonna sit there and just make a plan for the day um 
I've got makeup for you today because honestly I'm sick of wearing makeup. Last night was honestly one of the best nights of my entire life. It was just so lovely, it was so romantic. I'll leave the link below where the place that we booked it through and like what we got and stuff. Yeah, I think today we're just gonna have a stroll around, find some cafes to sit in. We're gonna get a taxi to the airport about seven o'clock this evening because we've got a lot of hours to kill. Sorted. Mwah. So good, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just wearing my little blazer from Zara, just a black top, and then I've got on these the comfiest trousers in the world from PLT, honestly. And then my Balenciagas my little bag and yeah that is us for the day i'll let you know what we get up to later also yesterday i know i told you that we were going to go and put the locks um somewhere we didn't get around to doing that yesterday because we couldn't find any locks but we're going to go and locate some locks today he wants to buy three locks and he wants to put them in different places in paris so that when you draw a line from the precise location line to line it creates a a triangle shape so you triangulate all of the love i want to just lock it in paris I want the love to be free to travel. Okay, we'll put one in Paris then. Put one in Scorton. Put one in like Iron Appa. No. <laughs> I think we'll just stick with the one lock idea. We did a lot of walking yesterday and I can't bother to walk around to all these different places. It's a lovely idea though. So we found our place to put the lock. Just waiting for it to be free. days later now my bad i forgot to film an outro obviously i forgot to film an outro because why would i remember to do that when i've never done it before but yeah it's saturday the 23rd it's fight day so i've got a hotel in london i'm gonna go and watch the fights tonight i've actually finished editing the vlog back surprisingly i thought i'd be awful at editing but honestly it was the easiest thing i've ever done for those of you who are worried about starting a channel because you don't think you'll be able to edit honestly i could do that with my eyes closed now i just used iMovie to do that it was free and honestly so so simple yeah i actually quite enjoyed watching the vlog back i can assure you that the content will get better and i will get better at doing it if there's anything you'd like to see in particular just make sure you let me know below i'm not going to be like a specific channel where i only do certain things i will probably do absolutely everything but if you got to the end of the video thank you so so much for watching it really really does mean the world to me but i have really enjoyed doing this i was unsure if i was going to absolutely love it or hate it and i have quite loved it actually it's been so so lovely to watch the footage back and just be reminded of what we got up to so yeah thank you ever so much for watching and other than that i will see you in my next video bye guys